Now, I've been in sales for 28 years and, and many moons ago as a young sales manager, I became really frustrated by the inconsistent performance of my team. And what I discovered that what goes on inside a person's head has the biggest impact on whether they're going to be successful in sales or not. And in the last 16 years, I've literally trained thousands of salespeople and business owners how to use this stuff. And there are two reasons that I have found to be at the root cause of people not doing what they know they should be doing. Now, you know, all of us can be guilty of that. We all know that we need to either go out networking, we need to connect, we need to pick up the phone, we need to write great proposals, um, we need to follow up on those proposals. We know all the things that we should be doing. And yet, there is something inside us that stops us doing it. And we can all come up with our own story about why we can't do it. And one of the areas that I've found, which is really common with business owners and salespeople, is that they come up with reasons and excuses why they can't. And those reasons and excuses seem really plausible. They're like, I haven't got time. I can't get hold of the decision maker. I'm too busy doing this to pick up the phone. So I want you to start noticing where you're doing that. Now, the reason people do that is because it lets us off the hook, doesn't it? It makes it okay not to take the action that we know we need to take. Now, has anyone in the room come across the concept of cause and effect? Okay, so some of you, this will seem familiar. You, you know, you'll have an understanding of this. When somebody is in effect, it means that they're allowing outside forces or people outside of themselves to stop them doing something. So for those of you that watch the news and read the newspapers and believe that stuff, about no one spending any money, everyone's holding on to their money, and you believe it so much that it stops you taking action, that means that you're in effect. It's like you're being impacted by everything that you can't control. You cannot control people, you cannot control the situations you find yourself in. And people who stay in this space here, in effect, give up their power. When you do that, you give up your power. It's almost like crossing your arms. And even if you do pick up the phone, even if you do go to that networking event, deep down you're thinking, you know what? No one's spending any money at the moment. So how likely are you to give that activity 100% if deep down you think nobody's spending any money? You can't, it's impossible to give 100% to something when You've got all this stuff going on, impacting on you. Now there is another way of being. So this is being in effect. The other way of being is to be at cause. Now when you're at cause, it's not denying that that stuff is taking place because we know it's like there are challenging economic times. There are very specific situations that cause people not to spend as much, maybe. I don't know. And it's not about being in denial of those things, it's about acknowledging that there are challenges and saying, okay, well, if that's true, what am I going to do about it? So think about the reasons and excuses that you currently use that stop you taking action and ask yourself that question. So if it's, I haven't got time, for example, okay, so if I haven't got time, what am I going to do about it in order to achieve what I want to achieve? Because when you put yourself in this position, you come up with solutions to overcome that stuff over there. <laughs>